Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. Outside of the Earth, the Sun is the most heavily observed and studied body in the solar system. Yet almost all of the Sun's features present major quandaries for solar physicists. From acceleration of charged particles away from the Sun, to heating of the upper atmosphere or corona, to the Sun's polar jets, to a virtual absence of solar convection, to super rotation of the equatorial atmosphere, and many more. More and more people are wondering if the conventional model of the Sun needs to be reconsidered. A carefully constructed experiment is now being proposed to answer the long-standing mysteries of the Sun. The goal of the experiment, called the Sapphire Project, is to create an electrically driven miniature Sun in the laboratory. My first question with respect to the EU is, is this a testable hypothesis? And it appears to me that it's very testable. You can't test the current hypotheses, uh, a number of reasons. Number one, you know, they say that the sun is, you know, billions of years old. Well, when you have a model like that, it's an untestable model. There's a number of disparities with the current gravitational model that can't be tested. The electric model, on the other hand, is it's a very simple model. What we want to do is see if we can recreate the natural, as naturally as possible, what we consider to be the environment that the sun lives in. Number one, that means a rarefied gas, whether it's nitrogen or neon or whatever it may be. We want to put a sphere in the center. We want to have uh, an anode and, and basically do a discharge between the two in that rarefied gas. We also want to be able to reverse the polarity or the potential, the, the voltage potential between the two and uh, see if it's possible to recreate a number of the phenomena, and that would include, you know, arc discharging. I think one of the more significant features would be what we call super rotation in the sun, which means, I think it was SDO observed that there's this torus of charged plasma rotating around the sun faster than what the, uh, the sun is rotating. Now, that's significant because you would expect that the sun itself would rotate faster than basically this cloud of plasma, but the opposite is true. Many anomalous features of the Sun may be explained if the Sun is at the center of a heliospheric electric field. To have confidence that the Sun itself falls within the hypotheses that, this, that it's electrical in nature is quite a bit of evidence, as a matter of fact. Recent um, discoveries, things like coronal mass ejections, as an example, um, happening concurrently on either side of the Sun, which is an occurrence that you would expect to see in an electrical model. Back in Berkeley's day, he wrote about this, um, seeing discharge, arc discharging, uh, on either side of the sun. And he had conferred with other friends and colleagues that were solar astronomers at the time, and they were saying that the things that we're seeing going on inside the chamber here are very close to what we see going on with the sun. Other things like spicules and sunspots, which occurred in some of these experiments, even in the 60s and 70s, have been observed, but not measured, not seen or checked to see if, in fact, these things are similar or identical to what we see going on with the sun, uh, as well as ion acceleration. I do a lot of physics, and for something to accelerate means that there's an energy behind it accelerating this. Uh, you would expect anybody to either maintain its velocity, a best-case scenario, but to decrease its velocity, but not increase its velocity the further away it gets from you know the body that it's being discharged from, but that's occurring on the sun. Uh, things like temperature differentials. You know, why is the surface of the sun you know 3,500 3, degrees Celsius, which is cooler in some respects than what an arc welder is, and the photosphere itself is, is hotter yet and would approach um, being in the same order of magnitude as an arc welder. Uh, and then we get into the corona, which is even hotter again in millions of degrees. Given all of the recent surprises for solar physicists, and given the enormous significance of the sun in human life, is it time for mainstream scientists to begin testing theories that propose a radically different view of the sun? As far as the universe is concerned, and more specifically the sun, I think that there's a lot of interest in what's going on with it because of its effect on climate. Technologies, um, when we talk about 
coronal mass ejections, we all know nowadays that it can have a significant effect on our way of life, and most especially with electronics and uh, you know power grid. So I think that coming to an understanding of the sun that would better quantify the model is very important. For continuous updates on space news from the Electric Universe, stay tuned to Thunderbolts.info.